Hey y'all, I just got out of the garden. I'm sweaty and hot, but I picked some uh, squash. There's not gonna be much more, and I've had several people requesting to uh, for me to show how I freeze my squash. Now, Sweet Hunter's Granny is the one that taught me how. Well, I watched her. So, uh, that's how I'm gonna show you. First of all, I'm gonna go wash my squash. Okay, I have uh, most of my squash sliced. When I wash it, I don't scrape it. Uh, I know people used to do that, but the good vitamins and stuff is really on the outside, so on the peeling, just like anything else. Uh, if it has a bad place, I do, um, I'll cut it out. But I do not scrape mine. I just wash it really good and slice it, just like you're gonna fry it. So, hope you can see that. All right, we'll go the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna do about half this, and you won't be able to see this. Well, let me just use this glass bowl. Set that aside. And I'm just using cornmeal. Some people use flour, I use cornmeal. And I just bread it really good. Um, I put some gloves on where I don't have to wash my hands so often. I don't normally use gloves, but just for the video, I'm going to. Um, just so I don't have to wash my hands so often. So all I'm gonna do is bread this just like I'm gonna fry it. And I do uh, fry mine in cornmeal. Sometimes I use just a little bit of flour. And you can tell if it's sticking to it good. If it's not, you might have to wet it. I just washed this so it should be good. <clears throat> and I just want every piece to be um, breaded. Now we're not gonna season this or anything. We're just gonna get it ready to, for the freezer. So this is a cake pan. Uh, you can, I actually will probably spray this. Good. And then I'm gonna put a little oil in it cause you want it to be wet, but not too wet. I'm a good teacher, right? <clears throat> wet, but not too wet. <clears throat> And I'm gonna use a little bit of oil in here. And you can tell when you put your, your um, squash in if you need a little more oil. <clears throat> I pretty much know by looking at the pan. Uh, you can do this on a cookie sheet. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking this and I'm going to just spread it over this pan. No rhyme or reason. It can be piled up some. It's fine. Uh, this is not, I'm sure, the way that the um, books tell you to freeze it, but this is the way Sweet Hunter's Granny did it, and it's worked for us. We, we've been married for almost 42 years, and it's worked, so it's fine. You don't want too much cornmeal in here, but a little bit's not going to hurt. So, you're going to spread it out about like that. I'm going to do the other part. Do a little bit more. Where I can get this pan full. Now, the, uh, I've got my oven preheating at 450. And uh, all I'm going to do is heat this through. I'm going to let it get just a little brown before I turn it. And... Um, I'm gonna heat it through. And I'm gonna turn it, and then I'm going to uh, let it cool on the pan. Let it cool on the pan. And then once it's cool, you package it however you want to. Now I do my okra the same way. And like I say, if you use flour, you can use flour, I don't care. You can use cornmeal and flour, I don't care. You do you. I'm just showing you how I do it because I've been asked. 
This is so easy, easy, easy. Uh, it might take 20 minutes, maybe 30, if it's a big batch like this. This is a pretty good batch. My squash is about gone in the, uh, in the garden. I had a real small garden, so I haven't had that much. I am going to show, hopefully I'm going to show how to uh, can green beans next week if I can get to it. So I've been putting beans in the freezer and that's how I do it with a small garden. I'll put the beans in the, I'll break, I wash them, break them, wash them again, let them dry, put them in the freezer bags and just uh, let them stay in the freezer till I get enough for a canner full. So I'm not seasoning this. This is exactly how it's going in the oven. And I'll show you when it comes out. Well, I nearly didn't get that started. So this is, um, see if you can see it. This is what it'll look like before I, whoo, it's hot, before I turn it. So uh, you can see, I see a little bit of brown, not much. Um, it's probably been in 12, 15 minutes. Uh, and then I'm just going to take my spatula and turn it. And you can see it's not really brown. It's just heated through. Now here's where you might see that you need a little more oil. If, it's, if you don't see any oil uh, on the bottom of the pan, you're going to have dry breading meal looking squash. And that's the way this looks right now. So it is going to need more oil. Now I'm going to have people tell me I shouldn't use that. Oh well. My glasses are fogging up. So <clears throat> I'm putting this in the oven one more time. I'm going to put a little oil in the corners because it is completely bone dry. And then, remember, I did spray it, so it's gonna, uh, it's not gonna stick. Okay, so, can you see that some of it is a little bit brown and that's okay? Can you see that? Okay, I'm gonna put it back in the oven for probably 12 or 15 more minutes, and then I'll let it cool. Okay, I've had this cool in a few minutes. This is how it looks. Um, it feels like it needs just a few more minutes to cool. Uh, but I want you to see if I can get over there. <clears throat> that this is not greasy. Can you see that? It's not greasy. It's just lightly brown and heated through. It's not cooked. So again, this is not frying squash. This is freezing squash. And this is how Sweet Hunters Greeny did it in the way, only way I've ever done it. So it's easy. I've got my bags ready. I'm gonna package it up and uh, then put it in the freezer. It'll be done, ready for some frying in the winter. Okay, so I changed to quart bags instead of gallon bags because it is just me and Sweet Hunter. And I'm just, oops, I'm just putting enough in there to fry us up a little bit. I'm not mashing this down, and I'm setting it aside to let it cool even more. So, <clears throat> if you have a big family, you'll want to do the gallon size Ziploc bags. to do is freeze this and then I just thaw it in the winter put a little uh, very little uh, shortening or grease in it oil and fry it it's 
basically just about cooked. It, it won't take you any time at all. There is gonna be some questions and I'm gonna go ahead and answer them here. First of all, sorry about the ceiling fan. I, I saw that on a comment on the last um, post, but it was uh, before I started this one uh, that I saw it. Um, and I'm sure it did look like a disco, I'm sorry. Um, the other thing is the um, jar, the big jar of meal I have, that came from the Dollar General store years and years ago, $5. And um, I'm just gonna stack this up and put it in the freezer. I hope that helps you. Um, like I say, you may know a better way and that is fine. I've just had people ask and I just wanted to show you. So y'all go cook something.